You know, it was a tough match. Obviously, we went into it wanting to win, and uh, we didn't get the result. But the good thing is, is we're still in the quarterfinals, and I think that's what we have to look towards now. Um, you know, we can definitely learn from some of the things. We created a lot of chances. We just couldn't really find the back of the net. I think they, they were right there kind of matching us physically. Um, they have a lot of, uh, I guess, bigger, stronger players, um, but still, you know, have that element of technical technical ability and craftiness to them. Sweden is a really talented team. They definitely have a lot of speed up top, um, huge, you know, physical presence, great in the air. Um, so it was a battle out there. Um, I think, you know, we did our best. And I think second half, we actually dominated a lot of the game, which was great. Um, but, you know, just didn't quite end up the way we wanted it to. But you know, that's how it goes sometimes. We just have to, you know, just put it past us. It is what it is. It happened. And we have to remain positive. Uh, just these next few days are going to be really crucial with getting, you know, fluids in you, getting good diet, nutrition, um, and, and taking care of our bodies so we can recover. You know, bottom line, we have one more game to play just like we, you know, had before this game. So we're excited, and now it's kind of the, the do-or-die stages. So that's always an, a good added pressure for us. We're ready for anything, you know, our, our whole road leading to this has been, you know, a bit of a roller coaster and I think, you know, that's, that's just something that we've learned to deal with and thrive, um, you know, with and I think Brazil, we'll just have to focus for that game, prepare for that team and, you know, go out there and just play with all our heart.